Hi, my name is Karina Gallivan and I'm joined by Susie Nolan to discuss some exciting news coming down the tracks. So Aviva currently offers two Irish property funds to our customers, the Aviva Irish Property Fund, that's managed by Aviva Investors, and the Aviva Irish Commercial Property Fund, managed by Aviva Ireland or formerly Friends First. And in order to create one large flagship and diversified Irish property offering, Aviva has decided to merge these two funds as they are similar in many ways. And this will take place in May 2022. And the expanded fund will be managed by the local property team here in Ireland. So Susie, tell me a bit more about what's happening. Thanks, Karina. Yeah, I think exciting times ahead, as you say. Um, at the moment, we do have two Irish property funds on the platform and bringing those two funds together, you know, those two funds have very similar strategies. I think it'll be very complementary and will definitely benefit our customers and give them some clarity going forward. The funds are very similar in many ways. So they have very similar asset management strategies. And what I mean by that is, is I suppose the way that we actually manage the properties to drive value for our customers. So both funds have core properties at the, at the bedrock of the fund or the foundation of the strategy. And when I say core properties, what I mean is these assets have long leases in place with good quality tenants. And I suppose our main responsibility is to collect rent from those tenants. But both funds also have active asset management strategies. So that's what we sometimes call value add or redevelopment initiatives. And that's where really, I suppose, we're trying to drive further value for our customers by carrying out some certain activities, such as letting up vacant space, refurbishing properties, or indeed redeveloping some of our assets. Um, and both funds do all of that at the moment. So it's great in terms of bringing those strategies together. Those ones also have very similar sector allocations. And when I talk about sectors, what I mean is retail, office and industrial. So again, very similar sector allocations across both funds. So again, complementary to bring those together. And finally, they both have very similar sustainability initiatives, which as you know, are very important for our funds going forward. Great, uh, Susie. So you've, you've touched on it there, but what will the merged fund look like and what are the main differences between the existing Irish property funds and the expanded property fund? Super. Okay. Yeah. So, so there aren't um, too many differences, I suppose, going forward. But the main difference that you've touched on already, Karina, is for the existing Aviva Investors Irish Property Fund, going forward, when the funds are integrated, they will have a different fund manager. So that'll be the local team here in Aviva Ireland, headed up by myself, and obviously a broad team of asset managers and, and fund, fund accountants as well. So that'll be the main difference for Aviva Investors. For the fund that we currently manage, so the Aviva Ireland managed fund at the moment, the main difference there is that the go forward fund will be able to invest in REITs. Now, that's real estate investment trusts, okay? So they will be able to invest in REITs, but it isn't a major part of the investment strategy. It's more like a liquidity tool in the background. So if we have a lot of cash in the fund, we may decide to invest in REITs. Um, but as I said, it's, it's not a huge part of the strategy going forward. And one difference then for both funds is that the Go Forward Fund will be able to invest in alternative property sectors. OK, so I mentioned earlier they currently invest in retail, office and industrial. Going forward, they'll also be the fund will also be able to invest in alternative real estate. And that's real estate such as maybe the healthcare sector, maybe student accommodation or hotels. Again, it won't be a huge percentage of the fund, but it will bring further diversification going forward. So they're the main differences. Then in terms of the benefits, I think there are super benefits for our customers going forward. So as we mentioned, it'll obviously be a much larger fund. So at the moment, one fund has 40 properties and the other fund has 26. So obviously the integrated fund will start off with 66 properties. So that brings great diversification. It brings diversification across the properties, the number of properties that we have, but it also brings great diversification across the tenancy base. And that's really important. So when it comes to rent collection, we aren't overly reliant on any one or two tenants to pay the rent in the fund. Um, so again, it's important to have diversification across tenancies. The other benefit then is, as I said, it's a larger fund. So that means we could potentially go out and buy larger assets in this fund because it'll be a bigger fund. We'll have greater purchasing power. But what that larger fund also means is that all of the assets individually will, will represent a smaller percentage. So it reduces the concentration risk across all of the properties that we have at the moment and any properties that we may acquire going forward. So I think lots of benefits, um, Karina, for the fund going forward and clarity for our customers. That sounds great, Susie. A lot, of, a lot of benefits mentioned there. So tell me a bit more about the team. We've, we've both mentioned the local Irish property team. So tell me a bit more about that, that team that will manage the fund going forward. Certainly, Karina. So, so the Go Forward team will have eight chartered surveyors or asset managers, as we sometimes call them. And their main responsibility is to manage those 66 properties. OK, so really to drive the value of those assets, collect the rent, 
maintain relationships with tenants and implement active asset management strategies. So eight chartered surveyors. We'll also have one quantity surveyor. So that's quite a different skill set. So he's very important when it comes to those development projects and I suppose deciding what type of materials we should use and quantifying the costs of those. So again, quite a different skill set. We'll also have three fund accountants. So that's very important in terms of, um, I suppose it's a daily priced fund, making sure that the values are correct on a daily basis and bringing that all the way through to the unit price. And then Karina, obviously um, myself and yourself, we were kind of on the fund management side of things. And then I'm responsible for implementing strategy, overseeing liquidity, and indeed overseeing all the asset management initiatives that the team are implementing and making sure there's appropriate governance in place as well. Great, Susie, that, that, that sounds good. So in summary, in, in order to create one large flagship and diversified Irish property offering, Aviva has decided to merge its two Irish property funds. The funds will be managed by the award-winning local property team here in Ireland and the larger fund will have many benefits and will invest in a range of Irish properties across retail, office, industrial and alternative sectors. If you need any further information, please contact your financial broker.